So there's another Logan Paul scandal. Again. Yeah. So what's your response gonna be? Uh, probably nothing. Yeah, you know, that, that sounds about right. Welcome back to Platform News. My name is David Snyder, and if you want to keep track of what's happening here on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and get notified. At any point in this video, if you have any input, remember to toss it into the comments. I'd love to chat with you. So last week, Logan Paul had another major oopsie when he issued his Gay for a Month challenge, saying it was one of his New Year's resolutions on his new podcast, Impulsive. Listing out how he planned to better himself in 2019, Logan broke down his resolutions into months, with January being called Sober Vegan January. That is amazing, a very healthy life change. Fatal February, which is the exact opposite. Dude, take it from someone who only ate salads and drank water for one whole year and then went straight from that to eating bacon and sipping shots of bourbon. You'll thank me. Then at this point in Logan's podcast, he decided to give a minimum of 4.5% of all adults in the United States, that is over 14.7 million people, a reason to riot. Vegan January, massive diarrhea in February, then Logan will be heading into what he calls male only March. We're going to attempt to go gay for just one month. What? What the f To give you a little grasp on how the internet responded to this, I'd like to introduce you to a little something I call Twitter. But there were definitely a few responses on Twitter that stood out, one of which was Daniel Preda, who was known on YouTube as Mr. Preda, saying that Logan Paul joking about being gay for one month while countless LGBT plus around the world are killed and committing suicide for their sexuality is disgusting. He continues to be an awful representation of the YouTuber community and shows he truly has learned nothing over the last year. In the case you were a hermit last year and just never ventured on YouTube at all, Logan Paul decided to upload his now infamous Suicide Forest video on December 31st of 2017. And the backlash was so severe that Logan was forced to reach deep into his bag of tricks and pull off what only he does best, an apology. Sort of. So I think it's really safe to say at this point that it's become an annual YouTube tradition to talk about Logan Paul and whatever controversy he ended up creating. Which leads us all to the real question, which is, is Logan Paul overrated and should he have sunk with the ship when Twitter torpedoed Vine? This is a very real question for a lot of people here on the platform. And to be honest, it really doesn't matter what your belief system is. Whether you are a member of the LGBT plus community or if you believe that their lifestyle is a choice, you just don't make comments like that even jokingly without care and consideration. That being said, there are members of the LGBT plus community that have stood by Logan Paul's right to speak his mind, which one creator on Twitter said, I call myself someone who believes everyone has value and brings something to the table of society. By his actions, we get a roadmap on how to be an utter waste of space without having to try too hard. That has got to be the kindest way I've ever heard someone say, grow the up. Now that's not to say that Logan's continual bathing in the controversial light hasn't gained him a massive following here on the platform. As I wrote this little magnum opus, Logan Paul claims over 25 million subscribers on his various YouTube channels, including over 1 million subscribers on the very podcast he made his little gay for a month oopsie. So obviously there are plenty of us here on YouTube that believe he's at least entertaining enough to keep around. Now Logan has been quoted in interviews to be fair that he does not wish to be known as a controversial controversial YouTuber. Hey yo, what is up? My name is Logan Paul, controversial YouTube star. On a personal note though, I have family, friends, and cherished, cherished loved ones who are members of the LGBT plus community. My personal beliefs on choice versus genetics are completely irrelevant here as their humanity, or made in the image of God, if you will, means that they are deserving of honor, love, and respect. This also includes Logan Paul, so brother, if you are watching this, he is it. Be mindful of your audience, man. But I wanna hear what you think about Logan Paul and his most recent scandal. Is the internet finally over him? Are we taking this too seriously or not seriously enough? Should we give him yet another chance? Yet another chance? Yet another chance? Bye. Or should YouTube cut their losses and sever ties with Logan Paul permanently because many creators on the platform believe that his content is not safe for children to watch? Remember to tell me what you believe about Logan Paul's little oopsie in the comments. And while you're doing that, let's cleanse our palates and just reassure us that everything's okay in the world with this little inspiration from a public official. But Mr. Trump, you're not a nice person. 
That's true. But actually, I am. I think I am a nice person.